Rocket Fuel is a startup accelerator program designed to help D2C brands in their early growth journey. So the vision for the next three years of from Rocket Fuel program standpoint is to build a community of 200 top brands across categories in the D2C ecosystem and be a part of their journey. While we as consumers enjoy the benefit of a new brand knocking at our digital doorstep every single second, these brands find it hard to survive, struggle and scale in a market that's so cluttered and competitive. To ease the struggle for these brands, many enablers and giants are leveraging their expertise and their network. One such name is ShipRocket. With the goal of helping entrepreneurs scale up in a capital efficient manner, the enabler conceptualized Rocket Fuel Accelerator program in mid-2020 and launched it in September of the same year. So Vishesh, before we delve into Rocket Fuel and I try to decode what you're doing there, help me understand how you're viewing the D2C ecosystem, considering you've been a part of the ecosystem since 2012, before the entire rush came in. So how have you been viewing the ecosystem? How have you seen it evolve? Sure, I think we have had the first-hand experience of seeing the industry grow to what it is today. Over the last decade, the first half of the decade was completely dedicated to marketplaces, Flipkart, Amazon and newer ideas. A lot of marketplaces actually came and went in that time as well. Mm. But what that gave a lot of SMBs in this country was their first flavor of online distribution. That is where the D2C started cropping up. The whole decision of going D2C was to actually use the customers that they have actually built over the years on uh, marketplaces and still be able to reach out to them. And the second half was dedicated to D2C. While it was growing on a steady pace, pandemic changed a lot with their offline distribution channels going shut. That is where the whole D2C explosion came, where it grew to an extent where each and every SMB looked at D2C not as their alternate channel, but also as one of the primary channels. So now D2C was one of their stores. You worked very closely on the first cohort of Rocket Fuel program. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience of it? Uh, it was an immensely wonderful experience. Uh, we were completely blown away by the uh, sheer range of D2C brands that applied for the program. These at-home innovators are coming up with new and innovative solutions every day. So these brands are really challenging the way uh, existing FMCG brands have operated for decades and creating a direct connect with users. The great thing was they were already coming with two bases very strongly covered. Uh, one was a very powerful product that they've passionately worked on. Um, and second was a very strong understanding of the user. Our job, once they came into the program, was to convert this product in user understanding into an enduring business. Tell me a little bit about the innovations you saw, the solutions you came across. What stood out for you? So I'd love to highlight uh, the five startups that graduated from the program. One was Supply6 which uh, provides complete nutritional products, especially for working professionals. Uh, one was Watch Out Wearables, which makes smart watches with first in industry features. Uh, we had One Drop Wellness, which makes, uh, which provides herbal drops for everyday beverages. Baby Burp, healthy foods for babies. And Loop Audio, which is actually made by musicians for the discerning customer. These were exceptional products which have the capability of creating a substantial presence in the categories that they are operating in. And it was our job to ensure that they could capitalize on the network we are providing. Network of our experts and mentors, network of our investors, um, of the capabilities across marketing and logistics as well as help them build their teams to the scale that they had to operate on. What advice would you give to maybe a founder, maybe an entrepreneur who's trying to enter this ecosystem and those who are still trying to navigate through this ecosystem, trying to grow and scale here? If you want to make sure that your D2C business and the channel is successful, it's very, very important to be customer first. Make it easy. No questions asked returns. While it may take a toll on your profits or bottom line, but it's very, very important to make sure that the customer feels confident while ordering on your website, making sure you have easy payment options. So many startups are offering the buy now, pay later just to improve conversions. So those are a few feedbacks I think in macro level and one word is just be customer first.